So in today's video, I'm going to be reading from the article, Analyzing Anti-Fund, a rolling VC fund created by Jake Paul and Jeffrey Wu after one year of existence. But before I even get into this article, there's one favor that I want to ask of you guys. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this on the topics like finance investing, then subscribe to the channel because that's what I make. But anyway, in this article, here's what I said. My long-term plan with Finance by CWT, which is this company, is to start investing its money into startups. I want this company to help build small businesses into large companies. One of the ways I've considered doing this is through the creation of a fund that would be managed by Finance by CWT. Because of my own goals, it interested me when I saw that YouTuber Jake Paul, along with serial entrepreneur Geoffrey Wu, were creating a rolling fund through AngelList to invest into startups. For those who don't know what a rolling fund is, a rolling fund is a fund that remains open to investors, limited partners, each quarter. They're called rolling because they remain open. People invest money into the fund, and the fund managers invest that money. The fund managers get paid a management fee, normally 2% of the investment, and they collect a fee on profits, normally 20%. Now that Anti-Fund has officially existed for a year, I want to look at how it did. First of all, the fund has grown to $23 million in assets under management across their funds and vehicles. I think that that's pretty impressive. I was surprised to see that they grew that big. Anti-Fund has already returned 50% of day one investors' investment, which is pretty impressive as well for a startup fund. Anti-Fund also 20 x on paper markups, which is impressive, but it's important to know that that is not liquid money. It's just paper value that would be very difficult to realize. One thing that would make me nervous if I had my money in Anti-Fund, however, is that looking at their investments, they have a lot of money tied into Web3, NFTs, and blockchain companies. I believe in Web3, and I have investments in that space as well, but I do not believe in a lot of Web3 companies. I believe that most are going to zero, and only a few will succeed and be super successful. I do not believe in NFTs. I definitely believe in blockchain companies, but I believe most of them will go to zero as well. Some of Anti-Fund's investments I do believe in, but a lot of their investments seem really risky. Investing in startups itself is very risky as 90% of startups fail, but I believe that a lot of Anti-Fund's investments are especially risky. It'll be very interesting to see how the fund does over the next year. And that's what I said on Jake Paul and Jeffrey Wu's and like rolling fund anti-fund after a year of existence. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you.